Hi, and welcome to another episode of North Shore Gems. I'm your host, Rob Moreau. Tonight, we're coming to you from the streets of beautiful downtown Covington here in St. Tammany Parish, which is home of the St. Tammany Art Association, one of the truly great North Shore Gems in the western parishes of the North Shore. Tonight, they're holding their annual Spring for Art event, which transforms downtown Covington into a multi-layered celebration of culture. But it's only one of their events that they hold each year. So join us tonight as we explore this gym and learn all about the cultural events and activities that the St. Tammany Art Association has to offer. But first, a little background information. The St. Tammany Art Association is a nonprofit dedicated to promoting the arts on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain. They've been around since 1958 and boast a membership of around 700 people. Cindy Pulling, a graduate of Southeastern's Fine Arts Program, is the Art House Coordinator. It has been a pleasure to work with uh, and get to know some of these artists. Some of these artists that we have that exhibit in the main gallery, you know, I've seen them in galleries in New Orleans and, and regional places or magazines and um, to get a chance to get to meet some of them one-on-one, -on -one, maybe visit their, their studios, that's just kind of been a, a personal perk um, of the job for me. Um, it's the creative outlet that, that does go along with all the day-to-day -day business. Um, it, it keeps you going, working with the children or seeing the children kind of growing in, in their talents and just continuing on with the Art Association or moving beyond us is a, another fun part of it. For today, I would say keep it pretty simple, mm -hmm. just think blue. Okay. Not light blue. Jane Marie Hill, one of the instructors at the Art House Association, is a passionate believer in the power of the arts. They make people alive to deeper truths and realities that are running in their life and their culture. They give people a tremendous amount of pleasure. They help people celebrate and mark important events and occasions through the creative process. They create a space for contemplation and imagination, and they enrich people's lives. Uh, art is a crucial aspect of our culture and our society, and we tend to think of it as that leftover fluff on the back burner, but if you look at the history of art, if you go back in time and you look at art that's created in other cultures and other countries, it's very often an integral part of the community, and we need it to still be an integral part of the community, and the Art Association helps that happen a little bit more easily. And how does the Art Association fill that need? You need a place to look at art, you need a place to celebrate the arts, you need a place to explore art. And to me, the Art Association does a little bit of all of that. There's an exhibit up right now. There are constantly classes and workshops for kids, teens, and adults. And you can find them here if you go to the Art Association website. There's a whole host of offerings that offer, address a real range of different interests or enthusiasms that people who are interested in learning about art Art might have so all of that's available here but there's also a whole range of exhibits that draw artists that are local to this community but also outside of the community you know a larger part of Louisiana and even nationally I know the summer jury show is a national jury show I, I believe um, so you get to see local art you get to see regional art and you get to see national art and people need art um, in my opinion, they need it an awful lot, and it's a very good thing to make and to share, and this is a focal point where that's able to happen in the North Shore. Headquarters for the St. Tammany Art Association, called the Art House, is a 150-year-old building located at 320 North Columbia Street in the historic district of downtown Covington. It is there that one will find their exhibition galleries, art studios, classrooms, and offices. We try to bring work into the community that you wouldn't normally see. So it's not only just the member work that's here. We work with New Orleans Museum of Art and have an exhibit once a year with them that's on display, usually in the fall. So that brings work into the community. And maybe for some of the students or people working just even north of, of Covington that don't maybe make it across the lake to New Orleans as often, get a chance to come you know, and visit and get that exposure. So you know, we try to have a variety of exhibitions, whether it's jury shows or solo exhibits and things like that. Oh, and did I mention they offer a vast array of art classes and workshops? Yeah. We offer a lot of classes. In the back we have, it's kind of a mixed media art studio. A lot of it is geared to our clay work, so we have kick wheels and, um, for clay work and a kiln, um, slab roller. We do painting and drawing classes, encaustic, as many, as many things that we can think of we try to offer. 
we hope to eventually, the Art Association, long term, we hope to get into our upstairs space, because this is a two-story building. Um, we have rental space up there now. But hopefully, we'll get back to what the original goal was to have kind of an art house academy and move offer more classes to the community. Uh, we'll have a little bit more space, maybe studio rentals and things like that. Exhibitions held in their main gallery include a wide range of art styles and mediums, and they take the form of both solo and group shows. Once a year, they host a national juried competition with cash awards for the artists. But tonight is the St. Tammany Art Association Spring for Art event, and for one evening, Singers, painters, dancers, actors, and even young cooks take over the streets of downtown Covington. Well, it gives the locals a chance to come out and get reacquainted after the winter, and also to see all the new stores, all the new restaurants, as well as the children's talent. I really enjoy the, the, the uh, children's art exhibits and the competition, and a couple of blocks away they have children singing on the street, so it's pretty neat. You know Jackie Ivanko? I saw her on America's Got Talent and she kind of inspired me. So I taught myself how to. I would, And my mom, she would pull up Phantom of the Opera songs and I would sing them in my room. And then I would sing for my family. And they thought I was really good. And then I got a singing coach and that's how it really started. Would you like to make a career in singing? Yes, sir. You like performing and you're really good. Performing, yeah, it's my passion. It's, I love it. Well, what would you uh, tell a young person like my son here who's been watching you for the last hour uh, who are interested in getting involved in the arts? Is there any advice you have to give the young folks? Follow your passion. If, you're, if you had the passion for it, then, uh, then keep going. Everything will work out. The other end of Columbia Street was transformed into an impromptu stage for the Ballet of Petri, which operates out of Mandeville. What were the influences that made you want to get involved in ballet and in art? Well, I was never one for sports, but, um, you know, dance has always just inspired me and just seeing the girls on stage and the tutus, and it's, you know, um, it's art through movement, and I, I find that fascinating. So I really like the idea of being able to make your own art through your body, and I really like it. Well, I think it's just fantastic that they host these things, and it's free to the public, and it's the type of thing that you hear about communities all around the world that want to emulate something like this. Not every place has it, and you know, the streets are closed off. Children can come dance in the streets, their parents can stroll and shop and visit. Just remind you that we live in a great place, so. And at this dramatic moment, <coughs> Alibaba came marching out of the house. And then there was the interactive children's theater. And he said, Morgiana, what have you done? Morgiana, what have you done? You done knocked out the whole neighborhood. You done knocked out the whole neighborhood. <laughs> and she faced the audience They're over that way. And she said, these are the robbers. These are the robbers. And that's the robber chief. Yeah, they laying over there. And that's, that's the robber chief. <laughs> Could you please give it up for the stone that opened with the cartwheel? How about all the robbers and the robber chief? Cassandra, who learned to tell the truth. How about Alibaba, who discovered the magical cave? Over 40 local merchants and galleries participated this in this art, year's right? Spring for Art event, which attracted around 2,500 people. How important are the arts for your community? Well, it, it, it's very important. In fact, it, we don't just have, we have arts here, but we also have artists that live here. And the artists that live here want to have a, a venue to, to show their, their works. We also, because we are a historic district and a cultural arts district, you can buy original arts here and pay no sales tax. So we, we like to draw people here and advertise the fact that come to Covington, you have arts, antiques, and events that 
uh, provide a, a total quality of life here in Covington. So we work a lot with the city of Covington um, and one of the things that we do, uh, we recently started an, a bi-monthly art market uh, that takes place at the trailhead right off of New Hampshire Street. So it's another outlet for artists, local artists, to uh, have a venue to sell their, their artwork and get exposure and for the community to come down and have a nice F day on a Saturday. We usually have some sort of music. Um, there's food and um, a great selection of art, more than just crafts, a lot of fine art as well. How important are the arts for society? today at this time. Can somebody talk about that? Well, if you ask me, it would be uh, on the top of the list as far as importance anywhere internationally. But uh, I would say now, without getting uh, too wrapped up into uh, political conversation, I'd say that the responsibility has sort of fallen on our shoulders, I think, a little bit. As arts and cultural programs are cut from schools, you see children out there having a good time painting, people coming out. There is an art and commerce thing. You know, we do sell work, it is a business. We do support artists. Artists have families and children of their own, so it enriches a society. It's why Covington has these events and why you see tens of thousands of people come out to these events because it's a culture forward thing. The arts have been here all the time, but the community's developed and supported in such a way to where now you have businesses that then pay back. So is, there must be a mutually beneficial relationship between the nonprofit, yourself, the Art Association, and all of the galleries, the for-profit groups out there. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, you know, we kind of go hand in hand. We're, we're not good without the other, kind of. Um, I think if we don't have the other galleries in the area, it, it kind of defeats the point of what we're, we're here for, which is to support the arts. So we try to work with them. We uh, make sure to keep in the loop on what exhibitions they have on schedule and when they're coming up. We try to help advertise some of the things that they do. I like to see us as a kind of a resource, you know, for the arts resource. Uh, they nurture the, the young and inspired artists. That's the greatest part about it. They have different shows through the year that help the young children come in and put their, hang their artwork up, get to meet real well-accomplished artists that are noted internationally and, and get influenced by that. Without them, they'd never have that chance. I would say it's not just for children, but children at heart. Um, people of all ages, I mean, people are coming in here just quitting their jobs and following their dreams of being artists. They come in, they see other people being successful at it, it inspires them, and they do the same. I mean, it's not just kids, I'd say people of all ages. Uh, I think we've been in business now, what, five, four or five years? Four and a half years. Danny, of course, has been in it for 14. 14. I just started into it with him as we partnered up with Triple O, and moving down the block from the Art Association has been a, a great improvement in our business. It's nice to have the teamwork of the association as well as the other galleries nestled up close to it. You seem to have better shows and, and the draw that people get to come in to this Art Association and also see the other galleries across the street to admire the other artists. Coming up next, the Abita Springs Opry.